much better. I was gonna say like the fuck me readathon. That's that. <laughs> fuck me. That's not uncussy. That's worse. Probably. That's worse probably. <laughs>
And we're both planning on reading the same book for this one, which yes. is The Antiquarian by Gustavo Favron Patrial. Patrial? Sure. <laughs> I'm bad at pronouncing things. Um, good to me. So this is a book we both picked up at a library sale, different library sales, I believe. Yeah. But it tells a sophisticated and spellbinding story of passion, murder, and madness. And where's the author from? South America, right? I believe so. Oh no, it says Peruvian. Oh wait, that's South America. <laughs> I was thinking Portugal. And, oh um, yeah, whatever. that's next to Espana. And uh, hopefully it's set. It's set <laughs> in South, South America. America. It says that. Okay. Uh, it says. Um, I think I was thinking that because don't they speak Portuguese in Peru? Mm -hmm. Or is that Brazil? That against the restless <laughs> landscape of a South American city. So we're okay. Fine. And uh, we also both have to fulfill the challenge of reading a book that is set within 100 miles of your location, which is not easy to find because because no fuck one the Ozarks. Yeah, fuck the Ozarks. <laughs> no one writes about the Ozarks. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so. I, after much searching, I just finally settled for this one, which I am not super excited about, to be honest with you. But um, I plan to read The Shepherd of the Hills by Harold Bell Wright, um, which is a classic of the Ozarks. And I think it's about like, a, it's set in, or it was published, oh, fuck, I don't know when, 1907? Oh. And it's about like a man who comes from the city and then settles in I think the Branson area which at the time was not like a big city like it is now old old people, old people Vegas, Vegas. <laughs> Branson's old people Vegas it is old people Vegas that's um, where uh, music careers go to die yeah pretty much yeah so uh, he like moves moves to the Ozarks from the big city and like learns things from simple country folk I think <laughs> sounds great <laughs> um, and for this one I'm gonna read Winter's Bone um, because that is set, was it like near Lake of the Ozarks? No, I think it's like in Christian County maybe, which is not Lake of the Ozarks, I don't think. Is it? I think Christian County is the other I, direction yeah, I think maybe. You're, I think you're probably right. Um, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's within a hundred miles of us. So yeah, I'd say it counts. It counts. All right, and then um, I'm also going to read an LGBTQ plus romance novel. And I picked out a novel that is um, one that's free on like the Amazon Prime where you can borrow things on your Kindle. Mm -hmm. And the one I found is called Move Loading. <laughs> Move Loading. <laughs> it's called Finding Susan. Um, and it is a lesbian romance novel, and it's by Katie Metner. Um, it has good reviews, but doesn't have very many reviews, so who knows how it'll go. It might be stupid, it might be good. I don't know. Fuck it. But it's about, like, a girl who gets catfished. And then I think she, like, tracks down the woman who catfished her, or something. And then they fall in love, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe it's a different woman. I didn't really understand the synopsis. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The book caught my attention because it had my name in the title. But then I, after reading the synopsis, I see that that's the fake name that she was given by the person who catfished her. Nobody under 60 is named Susan. Yeah, so I'm planning to read that one. I wanted to, I wanted to read a lesbian romance because I don't think I've ever read one before. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd Branch give it a out. go. Yeah. Um, I need to read a book that is published by a micropress. So I'm going to borrow Animal Tales by Pencilbox. Pencil Box Press um, from Sue and give that one a go. Uh, so that's all the books that I'll have to read to complete my um, Read Harder Challenge. But I also kind of like set a challenge for myself to read a book out of my TBR jar every month and I've kind of fallen behind on that. So I'm also going to try my best to catch up on that <laughs> if I have time. I don't know. I already have four books to read, but um, my I think this was my September pick which I haven't read yet, was The Reprieve by Jean-Paul Sartre. I'm going to try to read this one as well and then read, pick another one for October and November. <laughs> so I have four TBR jar picks that I will need to read by the end of the year, basically, because I need to read September, October, November, December. Pick short ones. <laughs> yeah, this one might be quite a feat. 
Well, you've got. I don't um, think Jean Paul Sartre is like the easiest. I don't think Sartre is like light and cheery. No. But you'll have from the 10th to the 31st of December, like when we're not doing a readathon, yeah. to read some yeah. books. I have, I'm also going to try to get in I Am the Bigger of the World, Land Days from Contemporary Afghanistan, um, which I'm also going to borrow from Sue, and that will satisfy the challenge to read a collection of poetry in translation on a theme other than love. The other than love kind of fucked me because I really want to read more, um, his name just went, uh, Pablo Neruda. Yes, I really want to read he Neruda. Has, he has stuff that's not about love. You know, but like, I'm going to read Pablo Neruda, like I want to <laughs> read his love poems, you know? So yes. that's our TBR for that uh, readathon that we just made up. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the thing we're doing. Yeah, we hope some of you guys will join in. Um, it can obviously easily be combined with other readathons as well. So I know there's some other ones going on uh, right now and yeah. soon and stuff. So jump in. It's and a pretty, I mean, casual because there's no real challenge, like no rules, but also not casual because it's like. Cram all the shit in. Hurry up and get all your shit done. <laughs> yeah, so I mean if you have goals that you, you know, are wanting to finish up or achieve or whatever, <clears throat> then go ahead and yeah. I mean maybe we'll try to do some like reading sprints or something maybe. on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. I just came up with that on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> I've never tried to do reading sprints. I've never participated in any either. I feel like my reading sprints might be a little bit different than some other people's reading sprints because I work and so mm -hmm. like maybe I'll do just like an hour or two where you just read for that hour or two yeah and just do like a little short sprint I mean I think they usually do them shorter than that oh really it's like 20 like read for the next 20 minutes okay well fuck I can do that all right <laughs> let's do a reading sprint <laughs> fuck I can do that, <laughs> I <got> that. <laughs> like, I've seen them done but I've never participated because I'm just like, I need what I want. <laughs> Leave me alone. I do what I want. <laughs> sometimes I need that like help though. Like sometimes I need someone to be like, okay, like everyone's gonna read now. <laughs> okay, class. Everyone's gonna Everyone read now. Got your books. And I'm like, oh, okay. I have We're some quiet reading time. See, as an introvert, like those are the kind of group activities that I can participate <laughs> in, and so I get really where no one talks to each other. Yes, because then I feel like I'm participating. <laughs> in the class but like not really yeah which is the kind of participation i like the beer is delicious if you like coffee and you are mm -hmm. in the area i think mothers has like a bit of a wider distribution than some than the other local breweries maybe. i think so. so yeah maybe if you're in like other states you might be able to find it i don't know but maybe like it's a pretty delicious to. coffee beer it's delightful. Brewed with love in Springfield Mo. Let us know if you guys are going to be participating. If you post a TBR, let us know. Yeah. If you don't have a channel, then tell us below what you're going to read. Leave us some comments or something. Yeah. And we'll do, oh, let's do a hashtag. Let's do the hashtag, hashtag. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do oh shit readathon. Okay. Because I feel like other people will use oh shit for other things. For other things. Why? <laughs> What else could you possibly? So we'll do the yes. hashtag oh shit, oh shit readathon. readathon. Yes. On Twitter and Instagram. Yep. To talk about our shit. <laughs> to talk about our last minute shit that we have to do. Yeah. There'll be some uh, links below where you can yeah. find us other places on the internet. If you're not already subscribed to the restricted section, you should do it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.